Hi everyone, I'm Sherry Ewing and I write historical and time travel romances to awaken the soul one heart at a time. I got my writing career started late in life. I didn't start writing until 20, uh, 2008 and I did my first self-published book in 2014 which was If My Heart Could See You. It's a medieval romance that hit Amazon's bestseller charts um, at number three. It could have gone higher but I was such a newbie I didn't know what to look for. Um, I had no intention of writing a time travel. I was going to write the next book um, with one of the siblings, but um, my time travel characters uh, kept talking to me at all hours of the night, so I whipped this one out in four months. It was uh, for all of ever, and it takes a secondary character from If My Heart Could See You. It started a whole series of time travel romances, and I just published uh, book number four in May which was Love Will Find You. And today that's what I'm going to read you a little excerpt from. It was a complicated time travel um, with uh, killing of Clan McLaren, who you first saw in If My Heart Could See You, and Ella Fitzpatrick, who is a modern-day woman who um, has been stuck in 12th century England for quite a long time, and she first made an appearance in Only For You, which is the second book in the Knights of Berwick uh, Quest Through Time series. So let's get right to it. Dusk had fallen, the night a heavenly splash of color in rich pink and purple. Every part of Ella's body gave a silent scream of protest. She had had enough of the beast beneath her. Her fingers clenched Killian's tunic to the point her knuckles were white while she continued to hold on as if her life depended on it. Who was she kidding? She was afraid to let go, for she was certain she would find herself slipping from the horse and probably breaking a bone or two during her descent to the ground. This riding a horse business was better left to those who grew up around the wretched animals since the, first, since the time they could first walk. During the hours, hours of their travel, Killian had kept for the most part silent. The only exception was a word or two encouraging her that her time in the saddle would soon be at an end. They were making good progress on their journey south, but no matter how many times he said they would reach their destination shortly, Wartwork Castle was nowhere in sight. Every step of Killian's steed, whether it was the fast or slow pace of the animal, brought its own obstacles, at least in Ella's mind. It was difficult to remain sitting upon his lap. She had given up sitting on the pillion behind him hours ago, and Killian's saddle left no other alternative than to be wrapped within his embrace while he steered his horse in the direction of their destination. Enough, Killian, please, I beg of you. I cannot sit another minute on this beast from hell, Ella complained in a soft whisper. He pulled on the reins, bringing the horse to a halt, and scanned the perimeter of the area. We shall make for the trees to conceal us. Can you ride it just a little more? Lady Ella, he asked. She rested her head upon his chest and felt his arms tighten around her. Once I'm upon solid ground again, I will give you a sound verbal thrashing for using the L word with me again. Till then, I suppose my bruised backside can withstand a few more minutes of torture on this hideous creature. Mystic whinnied, causing Killian to chuckle while he turned his mount toward the nearby trees. You treat me as if I'm but, not a, but a naughty child, and then insult my horse. Whatever am I to do with you, Ella? That question could have had so many different meanings, she thought, even while she listened to the beat of his heart beneath her ear. Her own traitorous emotions were a mess while he held her. And that is a little something from Love Will Find You. Um... If I'm a new author to you, I hope you'll go to my website and check out my books at www.sherryewing.com. Um, I've got uh, 16 published novels that also include some box uh, set stories that are with the Blue Stocking Bells. We write an anthology every year, and we give 25% of the proceeds of the sales to our mutual charity, the Malala Fund. Thank you to the San Mateo Library for this opportunity to introduce myself. I hope you'll check out some of my books, and I've got a lot that can keep you busy reading for lots of hours. Thank you again for the opportunity. Be safe and healthy while you shelter in place, and take care. Thank you.